Hello and welcome to this video that shows you a really cool feature on Microsoft Word um, that is a great tool when it comes to helping you write and revise. So when you first read this, just, you know, read this little thing, you know, read it out loud, just right now, just go ahead, just read it out loud. Okay? And try again. Okay, now actually read every single word that's there. Okay? Now, quite a few of you more than likely read this as read this as as busy as a bee. But if you actually look at it, it's as busy as as a bee, okay? You know, so how many of you actually didn't see the second one? You know, you just know the you know the saying you're like, "Oh, this says as busy as a bee." But when you actually look at it, it's it's messed up, okay? Now there's an extra word there that shouldn't be there. Oh, dear. Okay. So, um I am a uh, college professor. I am also a professional writer. I write under the, under the even since there's my name, Jason Morgan. I write under the pen name J. Lloyd Morgan. And I use this feature I'm about to show you um, a lot because it is extremely helpful. When I do revise any of my books, I always use this as part of the revision process multiple times. And this feature is found under the review tab. Okay, so if I click on review, and it's the read aloud okay uh, feature so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight this text right here now um, as soon as I click on read aloud see okay now no 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 so I'm gonna click on it and when I busy as a bee. okay so when I clicked on it it automatically just went ahead and did it but you'll notice that as soon as I clicked on read aloud it brought up these little um, icons over here so it's not like every time I want to read aloud something this is kind of turns on the feature so again if I just kind of highlight this whole thing and I press the play button as busy as, as a bee. okay now this actually is like a little psychology um, experiment because if we were to get rid of the extra spaces here okay you know, we may be able to see, especially, you know, and actually Microsoft Word um, will show us, hey, look, we've got a couple of ones, and I've even got Grammarly helping me out here, okay? But if we didn't have this stuff, let's just dismiss that, and let's just, you know, ignore that once, okay? So if we're just writing along, and it's like, oh, we're just doing it, whatever. But if I go to back to play this, as busy as as a bee. I'm like, what? 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 That doesn't sound right. Let's do that one more time. As busy as as a bee. Yeah, okay, so we notice that something is wrong. So uh, we can go ahead and fix it. So we just get rid of it, highlight it again. As busy as a bee. Okay, now that sounds better. Okay, so let's type another sentence here. Um, this is the time I um, went to the store. Okay, so I just uh, wrote a sentence here. Let's hear it out. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, let me add some words here. Okay. And we'll just dismiss that. Okay. Uh, it really, Grammarly really doesn't want me to do this. Okay, so now let's just listen to it. Okay. This is the time I did quick went to the store. What? That doesn't make any sense. My ear's going to hear this. Okay, one more time. This is the time I did quick went to the store. Okay. So... Sometimes we add words or, you know, have words that shouldn't be there. So I'm like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. So I just need to get rid of these. Okay. Um, this is the time I went to the store. Okay. So not only can we hear when there are words that are missing. Okay. Actually, let's just get rid of a word here. Okay, so if we're missing a word, we can hear that it's missing. If we have extra words, we can hear that they've been added. Um, also, one thing you can do is if we have weird phrasing, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head here. Um, I'll pause the video and come up with something funky. All right, so here's this uh, sentence that I came up with. Let's listen to it. Or you go there and do the thing. What? Okay, now again. Okay, that is not a sentence. That doesn't really make any sense. Now, the way that we speak and the way that we write are not the same thing. 
okay? Um, and the whole goal of when you are writing is you're trying to get your ideas into words that other people can understand. So this feature not only will help you catch when you've added extra words or when you're missing words, it'll also help you when, you know, things just aren't, don't make any sense. Yeah, so I'm going to need to rephrase that and rewrite it. So, anyway, this is a very helpful tool. Again, um, is it an extra step? Yeah, it's like, wow, was it, it's a pain in the neck. Yeah, okay, but it's a great revision tool that can absolutely help. And, again, um, when I'm revising my books that are, you know, 80 to 100,000 words, I go, I use this and go through everything to find every possible issue that I can possibly do. And... Um, this will absolutely help you when it improves your thing. And for side note, I do not work for Microsoft. I do not make any money off of doing this. I'm just sharing something that I have found to be very helpful. All right. And there you go.